Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my Pokemon Blue No Evolution run. And as you can see, all my Pokemon are now level 60. It took almost 5 hours of grinding. And I gotta say, some of that is, well... Now I'm reaching levels where you need 10,000 experience. I still did the Pokemon Mansion because... Well, for my grind session because, well... 50 Road, in this version, you're still facing level 22 to 24 Pokemon. And I don't think it's sufficient enough for grinding. Besides, Ponyta gives you more experience than Onyx. But, time to get started on the Elite Four. And, and just in case you're wondering... You can't fish for any Pokemon here. Hi. Oh, you're Lorelei. So you're an ice type expert. Oh. Well, you have to freeze them first. And last I checked, even up to Gen 8, there is no move that has. I think higher than a 30% chance of freeze? Frankly, your chances of freezing Pokemon are pretty low, but Lorelei starts with a Dugong. And of course, the Dugong is going to growl. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, if things don't work out, I'll have to grind up a bit more. But next is Oyster. Yeah, you are definitely going to want to grind up levels, because... The Elite Four's Pokémon... Actually, I'm going to send in Bushroot. They tend to be... Well, this is... <sighs> Sorry. They're at high levels, and if you're going through with unevolved Pokemon like I am, you're going to want some levels. Oh. Okay, so... Maybe a ramp on it. Oh. Wow. I think I'm going to need some sleep powder. Yeah, that amnesia is going to boost that Slowbro's special stat, so not only will its special attack go up, so will its special defense. Yeah, it wouldn't be more if that was a crit. But, as you can see, that's what amnesia can do. But, I wish I got that crit earlier. Alright, next is Jinx. Hmm. I'm trying to think, what, what one should I use? I think I'll go to Crane. Yeah, the less I say about Jinx, the better. Oh, you got Body Slam. And I'm paralyzed. But luckily, Hydro Pump got through. Oh, you're going to use Super Potion. Yeah, just going to try and play it safe here. And then goes Jinx. And for her final Pokemon, it's Lapras. Yeah, it's the Lapras I gave up on. To fulfill a loophole into my run rules. And that's one hit. I need to hit one more Thunderbolt. And 
Dang. Even Lapras has Body Slam. Whoa, that was a critical hit there. <sighs> and I came through this confusion. And of course, Lapras has Hydro Pump. And you know what? I'm going to have to go with Bush Root. Kosha failed me with those. With those confusion hits. I've been lucky on confusion so far, that luck ran out. And down goes Lorelei. Oh, thank you. Okay. So, who's next? Oh, Bruno. Sorry for explaining that ahead of time, but. I'm going to switch in Brainchild, and let's see. Oh, there's my revive. Just going to go revive and hyper potion. And do I have. Oh, there's my full heals. Yeah, I think Prince Chow is my... I did put Prince Chow in my lead. Oh, so... You actually trained with your Pokemon. It seems like you're going for brute strength. Oh, of course Bruno has his fine... Oh, it's Onyx! Perhaps I should have led with a water or grass type. But let's get this Psychic in. There we go. Oh, it's hit my chan this time. Hmm. Oh, it's got Thunder Punch. And of course I'm paralyzed. Hitmon Lee. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Confusion. Oh, you're using X Defend. Thinking it's to cover Hitmon Lee's defenses. But wow, one Confusion did it. Alright, next is Onyx, so let's see. I'm gonna go Bush Root. Hope I can speed the Onyx. Nope, but it went with Harden. And I missed the Razor Leaf. Oh, you're going to use the second X Defend. I got a feeling the Elite Four doesn't know which items are useful in specific situations. And of course, it's Machamp. I want to send Thomas Dammit out because Bring Child is paralyzed. Give it a good drill pick. Of course, you're going to use Focus Energy. Let me get this pack in. And down goes Bruno. That's two down. Alright. But first, let me use a full heal on Brainchild. Oh, hey. Hey, you did Oh, you're Agatha. Hmm. You know Professor Oak? Wow. Hmm. Ah, I guess you were into him a long time ago, but I guess not anymore. Oh, so... You only care about Pokemon 
to fight. But here we go with Agatha. Mm, she's gonna leave with Gengar. Oh, you're gonna use Dream Eater. <laughs> Even though you didn't put the Pokemon to sleep first. So what exactly about you may see a late four? Use yet. Give it a good thunderbolt. And down goes the bolt. Pull back. I want to send Thomas Salmon out because it's normal time human help. All right, there it goes. All right, next is Arbok. Yes, yeah, time to hit you with. Oh, you're you're faster and you're using acid. But down goes, well, down should go the Arbok. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll send Thomas Sam it out again. It's normal typing trip. You've been here. Oh, it's faster than Gengar. And you're still using Dream Eater, despite the fact Thomas Sam is not asleep. I think I know why Oak wasn't interested in you. <laughs> you seem to think you can eat dreams while someone's awake. Alright, so... I think I should leave with Kocha next. Yeah. That's the third member of Elite Four, I think. Oh! Guess you're gonna close the door behind me, then. Oh! Hi! You're the leader. And your name is Lance. Oh, you use dragons! Oh! So they're kinda... If you put in the time, they can become really powerful? I don't know about Gem 1 because... Well... The only dragon-type move is Dragon Rage. And that's fixed damage. But you're going to start with a level 58 Gyarados. So I'm going to give it a good Thunderbolt. Just get it out of the way now. Alright, next is Dragonair. Alright, well... I taught Krang a move... Well, if you remember, I taught Krang Ice Beam. This is the occasion. Dragons are weak to ice. And it's Dragonair number two. And there goes Dragonair number two. Alright. Next is Aerodactyl. But I wanna see if I can finally land a hydro pump. Ooh, you're using hyper beam. Look, I think Crane resist that. Ooh, that was a crit. And Crane has 69 HP. That was indeed a nice crit. But, let me go with... Well, I'm gonna stick around for this Dragonite. Whoa! Now you're using Hyper Beam! Oh, 
Crane survived and landed the Ice Beam perfectly on the Dragonite. Oh, thank you so much. What? There's... Someone already beat me to this? Jack. Of course he would beat the Pokemon League before I do. Alright, so... Before I go on... It's time to... Time to heal up my Mons. There we go. Now everyone's ready. But considering the lead... I'm gonna put Thomas Sammy in the lead. There's one thing I wanna do if I still have the t I don't have the TM. I forgot to put TMO free. I was I had a secret plan to sweep, but yeah, I have to deal with my rival now. Well Also, I forgot to use my rare candies. Huh. So you chose balance. That's good. Oh, we'll see about that, Jack. Alright, he's got a full team. And is going to be with Pidgeot. Or Pidgeot. But I need to start with a Thunderbolt. Alright, so I got a feeling... Oh, he did not use an item. Maybe you learn... <laughs> Maybe you learn from the other trainers. How well, not so good that was. Hmm, Alakazam. Alright, I'm gonna send out Brainchild for this. Because I think I need to hit this Hypnosis. Oh, it's got Reflect! Ugh. And it's got Side Beam. I mean, Brainchild can soak that up. Ugh. Seriously, this is two Hypnosis. So, Side Beam, Reflect, and Recover. But his fourth move is Psychic. As long as it stays asleep, I'm good. Alakazam is often the Pokemon I worry about, and often the reason I use a Hypno in Gen 1. Alright, you woke up a bit too late. That's good enough for me. And Brainchild's now level 61. Ooh, right on. You know what, Bushroot? You're... You're gonna earn a spy on it. Well, you already have. So let's use Razor Leaf on this right on. Alright, good work. Hmm, Gyarados. Yeah, because I chose Squirtle. Gyarados is a choice. I think canonically... Well, I can't say anything canonically, but... If I chose Charmander... Gyarados would not be on this team. And there goes Gyarados. That's four. Arcanine. Alright, it's time to bring out Krang. And I think it's time for a Hydro Pump. Oh, you got a light. Oh, I got a burn. And of course, Hydro Pump misses. And yet you use Roar. 
in other generations that would have been just fine. Thankfully. Alright, Crane gained a level. And to end things off, Venusaur. I did not use Monty at all. So let's try a drill pick. Alright, Thomas Aaron outspeeds Venusaur. Of course you're gonna use growth. I'm just gonna peck at my at this problem. And I did it! I completed Pokemon Blue without evolving a single Pokemon. Yeah, well, it's kinda of what you deserve. A very short reign. Now, I got some Pokemon to keep from evolving. I mean, you lost in a landslide. Well, my rival lost in a landslide. There's no number of losses that will take it back. Huh. Well, you kind of made one. Feels like you only chose Pokemon for power and not... What you... What you cared about? Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, Professor. Yeah, it's been quite a journey. Squirtle wasn't here to join in. Ah. Oh. Yeah, well... Wait, treat your Pokémon with trust and love. Well, yeah, dang, he only seemed to choose ones that were very powerful. Oh. Huh. Well, yeah, the Pokémon did all the work. They deserve all the credit. After all, they'll be the ones who are listening to Hall of Fame. Ah. Thank you. Yeah. It took me almost 50 hours, so... I feel like I've earned it. I also feel like my Pokémon have earned it. Starting with Kocha, the Voltorb. Yes, Voltorb's in the Hall of Fame. Deal with it. Same with Bushrick the Bellsprout. It's perfect to have a Pokemon that's number 69 in the Pokedex to, in the Hall of Fame. It's got Brainchild, because Drowsy and Hypno, I like them on my Gen 1 teams. Oh, Monty the, the Sand Shrew. I know I didn't use any Elite Four battles, but you earned your spot. Crane, I'm glad I put you on the team. And tell Ms. Sam it, thanks for finishing what we started. You all did incredible. Ooh, 47 hours, 15 minutes. Yeah, I only did it with 41 Pokemon. And now to the credits. Wow, it feels good to just get back to where it all began. And really, games have come a long way. And before... The special stat was special attack and special defense. They would later split it. And just think, this is a game without genders, without abilities, without... Without most of the Pokemon you know and love now. And this is... You can kind of think of all the humble beginnings. And what else to say? Just sometimes it's always nice to. Well, sometimes it's nice to go back and appreciate where where things came from, how and how, and it gives us a better understanding of how we get to this point. 
Sun says, mm, Sun don't see it quite as nicely or as optimistically as I do. It makes you really appreciate the changes that have been made over the years. But, I think that's it for, for Pokemon Blue No Evolution Run. Although, there is one thing I could be doing. I It will take a very long... It would probably take my longest grind session yet, or I can just use Rare Candies and, and cheese it. And that might be what I do. So... Yeah, next time. Well, I might as well show this. Yeah, also one of the things is in this version, the Pokemon switches up and the cry you hear when you start up depends on which Pokemon is on the screen. Yeah, can't believe I did it with these guys. Yeah, I think I better have my mom heal me up. Hmm. Wait a minute. I might as well check the PC. Hmm. Well, I still got plenty left, but... I think I'll call it an episode here. I mean, I try. I need to try and remember what I can do post game. I know of one thing, and that might be what I do in the next episode. If there is a next episode. Yeah, thanks. I want to get in my mom's house. But I might as well see if the professor. I mean, I got this far. Professor Oak. Yeah, he only talks about the Pokedex rating. But before I go, yeah, where I do have to fly to is Cerulean City. No one's blocking the cave. Alright, so I might as well get past Nugget Bridge and get ready for the one post game dungeon there is. And part of that is, well, I do want to get prepared for for this dungeon, but yeah, the person there isn't there anymore. Oh, and there's a trainer here. Might as well show it off. Oh, mushroom Pokemon. Oh, you got Paris. Yeah, I could have fought this Pokemon earlier. But I might as well give it a good Thunderbolt. A little a little bonus action for the For this episode. I mean, this class does know she's dealing with a Pokemon champion, right? Yeah, one of the ideas I had was to sweep with Thomas Salmon using Swords Dance and Agility, but I forgot to bring the TM for well, the TM for Swords Dance. So I couldn't go through with that plan. I'm sorry. But down goes Thomas Salmon. Alright, that's pro- I think that's the very last 
trainer. I had to check to see what's in the cave, but yeah, next episode is where I'll deal with the Pokemon. Well, it's a Cerulean cave. I think that I'll end my run there. So, until then, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you have a good day. So, I hope you come back for the next episode. But until then, remember to stay safe, wear a mask, practice social distancing when possible, and have a good day, everybody.